imagine a barking poodle in Paris? I would never be good enough. Don't sit out. Don't let other people carry you because your barking dog doesn't want to play. Don't be a drag. That party that doesn't want to play is ruining your life. And I'm talking about living an extraordinary life. It's not a mental idea. It is a complete paradigm shift. So let's talk about that brain. Let's talk about that ego. I mean, the ego part of you is here to support you. The ego part of you is not necessarily the problem. The problem is it's not the leader. The ego of you should not be driving the bus because the ego part of you is fearful and limited and defensive and always not enough. Always not enough. Always, it will always be not enough. You know that part of you that feels like a big imposter? It is. Because it's not your spirit. It's like, you know what? You should be scared. You aren't the driver. So what I call that part of you, Einstein was really good about, about helping us frame that beautifully. When he said, the human spirit is your sacred gift. Now feel that, your sacred gift. That's a part of you, you are here to unleash. Every course you're here to take, every conversation you're here to have, that's the yearning. But the other part of you, he says, and the rational mind, it's faithful servant, it's servant. Sadly, we've thrown away the gift and we've become enslaved to the servant. So the way that my teacher set this up is so great. Because my teacher said that your sacred gift, your spirit, has a servant, and it's your barking dog. Your little barking dog wants to be the servant, wants to be the helper, but unfortunately, we've become backed in a corner by our barking dog. So first thing we need to do is we need to identify the barking dog. So, what kind of dog are you? I'll start with me. What kind of dog am I? If I were a dog, if my ego were a dog, what would it be? It's kind of obvious. Poodle. Poodle. It's like, look at her and her dress and her na 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 Poodle. My ego is a poodle. She wants to be in nice clothes, and she wants to be all that. And look, even the hair is poodle hair. You know, we all have one. And my barking dog, you give your, first you name your dog, and then you give her a name or him a name. My barking dog's name is Fifi. When Fifi's in charge, I'm in trouble. But when Fifi serves my spirit, she takes me shopping. It works out. <laughs> so it's important. Name and identify your ego self as your barking dog or cat or parrot or whatever. And turn to the person next to you and say, I'd like you to meet my faithful servant. Name that animal. Mine is Fifi. What's yours? What's your chihuahua? What's your German shepherd? What's your, what's your mutt? What's your cat? Shh. Now, the reason I'm stopping you so quickly is I don't want you to give the backstory on the, on the pet. Once that pet starts barking, it's going to want to tell you all about it. Okay, so we're just going to say, this is my little barking dog. It's the chihuahua, it's a few, and you, here's the thing, you don't shoot the dog, okay? We're not going to get over your ego. It's helpful, it's your faithful servant. You have to train the dog, you have to train the cat to be supportive instead of to fight your spirit. When your spirit gives you a vibe, what do you do with it? We're at a moment in time. Can you feel it? This planet's like whoa, rocking and rolling. It is trying to have a breakthrough. And that breakthrough is going to happen. It is happening. It is happening in you. You are here because that breakthrough. And what is breaking through? 
What does that mean? It means your spirit is breaking through. Your spirit, your divine self, the self that knows who you are, it doesn't know for everybody. It knows for you. It knows for you. And what is holding you back? Training, conditioning, fear, don't know, habit. And it's important now to, to really decide, how's that working out for you? How is that? Aren't you frustrated? Don't want to have one more day that says, oh, I knew that. I should have. I, I didn't. Breathe. Ah. So, you didn't come here to get a bunch of information. You didn't travel all this way for more information. You can get that on the internet. You can get it in a book. I wrote 28 myself. You came to have an experience that will give you enough support, enough affirmation that you finally decide, you choose to trust yourself. No matter what, because you know what's worse? You know what? You know the worst thing that could happen to you? Ready? Nothing. <laughs> Isn't that the worst? Can you imagine this is it? Be like being constipated, honestly. It's like, ah. Nothing. Let's move this energy and let's be part of this zeitgeist. Let's be part of what changes. So I want you to turn to the person next to you and I want you to tell them the name of your spirit for now. Because if you name it, you claim it. Mine is bright light. See, even they're celebrating. <laughs> it's a celebration. It is a celebration to name your spirit. To name it is to claim it. Name your spirit, and then, okay, here's your barking dog. Well, I don't know what the name is. I'm not sure. i got to get it right. Growl, 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 bark, bark, bark. So just say, quiet, Fido. And you name your spirit for now. Just for now. It's my spirit. I can give it another name tonight, tomorrow. But for now, what's the name of your spirit? Joy, love. What's the name of yours? Diana and yours. Mamie and yours. Crystal and yours. Akshay, mom, we never hear Swami, banam, babam, badam, babam, babam, babam. That's your ego faking you out. You're going to hear George, Bruce, Charlie, Starman. What's the name of yours? Diamond. And here's what happens every time a person names their spirit, you smile. It's like, yes, I'm out. Genie out of the bottle. Yes. Everybody, turn to the person next to you. Quick. Put your hand on your heart. If you can't get it, thump it and name your spirit. Ah. Ah. Everybody's smiling. You're smiling. You feel it. You feel it? Nobody's like, my spirit is joy. You know. You're not. It's like you smile. Your whole body is flooded with who you are. So feel your spirit, name your spirit, and start the conversation. I'm not giving you some philosophy. It is an actual choice on what channel you want to live on. And when you live on the Barking Dog channel, you'll never be safe. Just forget it. I don't care how much hypnosis you have. Because the barking dog by nature is fearful. Your ego is fearful by nature, and you cannot transform that. But what you can do is hop out of it and be in your spirit, which is never, ever in danger. The ego in you says, me against you, and you scare me. And the spirit in you says, me and you, we're connected. And I love you, and you love me, and what are we going to create together? What good thing? Are we going to create together now? Ah. So by naming it, you claim it. And here's the deal. Then, as I did with our beautiful Phoenix, you get a choice. You get a choice. You don't 
have to listen, but at least express it. So every one of you, please turn to the person next to you and express the thing you're ignoring, you're denying, that you haven't articulated, you haven't claimed, you haven't owned. For whatever reason, just put it out there. Put your hand on your heart. My spirit says, and fill in the blank. And if you can't come up with it, do this. Ha! <laughs> Thump that heart. Pop the cork out of the throat chakra, get out of your head, squeeze your butt, and then say. It's not about what's right, by the way. We're never going to get what's right, ever. You're only going to get what's true for you for now. What's true for you, you, for now, just now. So what are you ignoring? What are you denying? What are you waiting for permission for? What are you afraid to say? Just say it. You don't have to listen. You get a choice. Okay, go for it.